Hi everyone, welcome to MindBlend. Imagine being able to read minds or influence decisions without a word. Today we dive into the world of dark psychology tricks that are powerful, yet risky. Dark psychology, just the name sends shivers down the spine. It's not just a topic of thrillers and mystery novels, it's a real potent part of understanding human behavior. This realm of psychology isn't about the mind's light and benevolent side, it's about the manipulation, influence, and control that can be wielded in the shadows. At its core, dark psychology explores how certain individuals use knowledge of psychological principles to exploit others. They employ tactics that can sway decisions, mold opinions, and even alter perceptions entirely, all without their subjects ever noticing. It's fascinating yet unnerving, however diving into this topic isn't without its risks. The ethical boundaries of using such knowledge are murky. Manipulation can easily veer into exploitation, leading to severe consequences for both perpetrator and victim. Now, before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you're interested in exploring the darker side of psychology with us. What exactly does dark psychology mean? This question often brings to mind images of shadowy figures and sinister plots, but the reality is both more common and more complex. At its core, dark psychology refers to the use of psychological tactics that are utilized to manipulate, coerce, or deceive others. These methods are not inherently evil, rather, they are tools that can be used in various ways depending on the person's intent. Let's delve a bit deeper. One of the primary components of dark psychology is manipulation. This involves influencing someone's behavior or emotions for one's own benefit, often without the other person's awareness. It sounds nefarious, but manipulation doesn't always have to be harmful. For instance, a parent might manipulate a child into eating vegetables by praising their choices, which is benign. However, in a dark context, manipulation could mean exploiting someone's weaknesses for personal gain. Next, we have persuasion. This is a softer cousin of manipulation, but still a powerful tool in dark psychology. Persuasion involves convincing someone to do something through reasoning or argument. It's widely used in advertising, where marketers persuade consumers to buy products, sometimes through emotional appeals that bypass rational decision-making. Then, there's deception. This involves creating a false belief or impression. Deception is often used in espionage and politics, where the stakes can be high and the moral lines can blur. These components of dark psychology are not just limited to thriller movies or dramatic literature. They are part of everyday interactions, from a salesperson convincing you to buy an unnecessary gadget, to a politician spinning facts to win your vote. These tactics are woven into the fabric of daily life. Understanding dark psychology helps us recognize these tactics in action, which is essential for both personal and professional growth. With this foundation, let's explore some specific tricks and why they are so compelling. Now, let's look at some dark psychology tricks that are both powerful and potentially dangerous. First, let's delve into the foot-in-the-door technique. This method works on the principle of compliance. The idea is simple. Start with a small request something so minor that the other person is likely to comply. Once they've agreed to the initial, smaller request, they are more likely to agree to a larger, related request. This technique is frequently used in sales and marketing. For instance, if someone agrees to sign a petition, they might later be more willing to donate money to the cause. The psychological underpinning here is commitment. Once a person commits to an action, however small, they feel a psychological need to act consistently with that commitment. Moving on to gaslighting, a particularly insidious trick. Gaslighting manipulates someone into questioning their reality, memory, or perceptions. It's a form of mental domination wherein the manipulator insists on false information, leading the victim to doubt their own memory or sanity. Imagine a scenario where one person consistently denies the other's experience insisting events didn't happen as remembered, or even fabricating stories and presenting them as reality. Over time, this can lead to the victim feeling confused, anxious, and unable to trust their own judgment. 
The danger of gaslighting lies in its potential to deeply destabilize someone's sense of self. Lastly, there's the fear appeal. This technique involves using fear to influence behavior. It's often seen in public health campaigns or safety warnings, but when used manipulatively it can be quite dark. The tactic is to present a terrifying scenario that could result from certain behaviors, followed by a solution or a way to prevent the dreadful outcome. For example, a person might be told that if they don't follow specific advice or buy a particular product, they could face a dire consequence. The psychological lever here is survival instinct. Fear can override rational thinking, compelling people to act quickly to avoid the perceived threat. While these techniques can be effective, they also carry significant ethical and personal risks. The use of these methods can lead to damaged relationships, psychological harm, and a loss of trust. They tread a fine line between influence and manipulation, highlighting the darker sides of human psychology. It's crucial to remember the power these tactics hold and the responsibility that comes with them. Why should we tread carefully with dark psychology? This question isn't just rhetorical, it probes deep into the moral fabric of using psychological tactics that can manipulate and influence others without their consent. Dark psychology, despite its intriguing allure, can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, understanding these techniques can provide significant insights into human behavior, empowering us to navigate complex social environments. On the other hand, the misuse of such knowledge can lead to serious ethical breaches. One of the primary concerns is the potential for harm. Employing psychological tricks to sway someone's decisions can lead to unintended consequences. Imagine persuading someone to take a risk that isn't in their best interest, or worse, manipulating someone's emotions to a point where it affects their mental health. The repercussions can be far-reaching and damaging. Furthermore, the risk of damaging relationships is palpable. Trust, once broken, is challenging to rebuild. Using dark psychological tactics can erode the foundation of trust and respect in personal and professional relationships. What's gained in the short term could lead to significant losses in the long term. Lastly, there's a moral responsibility that comes with knowledge. Just because we can influence someone doesn't mean we should. The ethical use of psychological knowledge mandates restraint and respect for others' autonomy and dignity. Understanding these techniques is crucial, not to exploit, but to defend ourselves against manipulation. By recognizing the ethical dilemmas involved, we can choose to use our understanding for good, ensuring that our actions always align with our moral compass. Knowing about dark psychology is one thing, but how do you protect yourself from it? In a world where understanding and manipulation often go hand in hand, it's crucial to develop a keen sense of awareness to protect oneself from the more sinister applications of psychological tactics. The first step is recognizing when you're being manipulated. This can often be sensed when someone excessively pressures you into making quick decisions, uses guilt as a lever, or consistently flatters you to get something in return. Once you've identified potential manipulation, the next line of defense is to foster critical thinking. Ask yourself, why is this person urging me to decide quickly? What might they gain from my decision? By dissecting the situation and looking at it from multiple angles, you can often see past the immediate charm or urgency a person is projecting. Another powerful tool in your arsenal is setting clear boundaries. Be vocal about your limits and stick to them, regardless of how much someone might try to persuade you otherwise. Manipulators often look for weak spots in boundaries to exploit. Firm boundaries dissuade them from seeing you as a potential target. Moreover, seek out honest communication. Engage in conversations where transparency is valued, and both parties can speak freely without fear of manipulation. This creates an environment where unethical psychological tactics are less likely to thrive. It's also beneficial to educate yourself continuously about the tactics used in dark psychology. The more you know, the harder it is for someone to use those tactics against you. Consider reading books, attending workshops, or even engaging in discussions about psychological safety and manipulation in various forums. Lastly, trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. 
Our intuition is a powerful guide in detecting when things aren't quite right. Armed with knowledge and awareness, you can navigate complex interactions more safely and ethically. Today, we've journeyed through the shadowy realms of dark psychology. We began by defining what dark psychology really is, an exploration of the manipulative and coercive tactics used to influence others. We delved into various tricks, illustrating not just their effectiveness but also the profound impact they can have on both the manipulator and the manipulated. We didn't stop there. We also tackled the ethical questions these practices raise. It's crucial to recognize the moral boundaries that are often crossed when employing such techniques. Furthermore, we discussed practical measures to shield oneself from being a target of these manipulative tactics, emphasizing the importance of awareness and self-defense in psychological health. This exploration might have been unsettling, but it's essential for understanding the darker aspects of human interaction and protecting oneself against them. If you found this video enlightening, please subscribe to MindBlend like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and stay mindful.